Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at booting to a USB flash drive inside VirtualBox. Now, a lot of people use VirtualBox and virtual uh, machine software, and uh, booting to a USB flash drive, uh, it wasn't designed to do that. So I'm gonna show you a way of getting around this and also be able to boot to it. Now, I have made videos on this in the past, quite a long time ago, but this is a new way of doing things, and you can use this uh, method uh, to do it okay now this is obviously not brand new it's been around for a while I've just not covered it and made a video on it and I wanted to because I think it's worth uh, making a video on so let's go ahead and take a look so the guy is called uh, David Brenner and uh, this is the type of uh, software we're going to be using to uh, boot to a USB flash drive and you can see here the download links are here they're very small and they're portable as well 64-bit and 32-bit is available and you've got the source code and everything there so you can check this out I'll leave the link in the video description uh, for you and uh, this is the latest released so let me uh, just get on with showing you how to set it up now what you're going to need to do is make sure you're running your virtual software uh, as a administrator here so click on the open virtual box and right click on that and run this as administrator that's important because otherwise it won't work and uh, once we've got this done we'll be ready to boot to our USB flash drive now I've got my USB flash drive plugged into the computer and uh, we don't have to set it up here we just need to create a new virtual machine here so let's go ahead and do that so what we're going to do here, I'm just going to call this USB 1. And uh, we can now set this up as a Windows machine. And uh, we can do Windows 10. And give it a bit of memory, like so. And click on Create. Now inside here, we don't need 50 gigabytes. Uh, so you can use whatever you like. I'm just going to use uh, 20, that'll do. Uh, VDI virtual box disk image and also dynamically uh, allocated is fine click on create and there we go now we can set up the settings for that USB uh, one and this is the settings here so we're going to go into system and we need to remove the uh, boot order which is for your floppy and optical because we don't want it to try to boot to these okay we want to force it to boot to our USB one uh, disk which is going to be our flash drive so next we're going to go into uh, the processors just check there make sure the enable VT is uh, ticked there go to the storage and remove any empty uh, images uh, you can see here we're just going to remove those from the system because we're trying to force it to boot to our USB drive now you can see here it's set to port 1 we need to make this port uh, sorry, you see it's set to port 0. We need to make this port 1. So the USB flash drive will be port 0, which is going to be the default there. So we're going to let that boot to there and click OK. You can see we are using uh, the controller, which is a SATA controller. And that's ready. Now let me just show you how to set up uh, for IDE, just in case you want to do that as well. And uh, I'll just leave that as is, that's fine. And we're going to call this USB, and we're going to call this 2. Same thing, give it a bit of memory, and uh, click Create. And uh, we can drop this down, yeah, something like that will do. Uh, VDI, virtual box uh, disk image, and dynamically uh, allocated is fine. Click Create. And uh, what we need to do here is go into our settings, and we need to change these as well. So inside here, again, we need to remove the floppy and optical, and that's fine. Go to the storage, and if you are seeing a uh, SATA here, um, then obviously you want to set up IDE. I'll show you how to do that. So what we're gonna do is completely remove all of this stuff, okay? Let me just quickly remove that SATA controller there. And uh, we're going to add a new IDE controller. And you can see here the drive is not added here, so we need to add the drive. And I'm going to choose an existing drive because we've already created one, so an existing uh, disk is fine. And you can see it's got us to our USB 2 VDI, so click open. 
and it's now added that in. So what we need to make sure here is you can see this is set to uh, the primary master, which we don't want. We want the primary slave and that's fine. Click OK. And we've now got one set up for uh, SATA and also one for IDE. So now that's done, we're ready to go. I've got my USB flash drive plugged into the computer. And we're going to be booting to this Bitdefender here. So let's go ahead and boot up to uh, our Bitdefender. So here is the software. What we need to do is uh, open this up. Here we go. That's our software. And uh, what we need to do here is add in our USB drive. So I'm going to click add. And then we're going to go down to our drive, USB 1. And we need to select our drive, which is this one here. And enable VT, which is on. And click OK. So remember, this is our SATA. And now we can add another one. And we're going to call this one USB 2 there. Put that on and select our drive. So I'll show you how it works. So basically all we need to do now is click on the start for our SATA one. And you'll see it working away. Now, if you don't get this working, it's because you're not running as administrator. But if you do, it then fires up and you should now see our live environment loading up here. So I'm just going to boot to this one and then I'll show you again on the IDE. So just let that load in and it should fire up. And then we should be able to uh, take a look at it. Now, this is going to be great if you want to boot to a USB flash drive. Say, for instance, your all in one flash drives and you want to test them out and you want to look at them and see if they're functional. You can actually do that as well. And it also allows you to record the screen on USBs and stuff like that if you want to uh, do that. So it's just another way of doing things. So you can see here uh, I'm loading this in and there we are. And this is fully functional. It's working, as you can see here. So I can close this off. Let me just close that off. And uh, that's that one done. And let me just show you the IDE one working as well. It's going to click start and you will see it firing up. It's communicating with my USB flash drive. And boom, it's working. So I'm not going to load this one right up to the uh, desktop of this uh, software. It just shows you that it is working. And that is pretty much it. A very useful uh, piece of software to help you boot to your USB flash drives in uh, VirtualBox. A really awesome bit of kit. I like it. It's got loads of other bits and pieces here you can check out. If you want to uh, check this stuff out, you can do. Um, I can cover this in another video. But basically, that's how you can boot to a USB flash drive using uh, the Virtual Machine USB Boot by David Brenner. So the link will be in the video description. So I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.